majestic mountains, mind-blowing locations, or inspiring scenery. This is Western Serbia. Over the next few videos, I'm journeying to the area surrounding Tara National Park, including the beautiful Bajna But to begin with, we're in my base city, Užice. Once the center of a mini military state which temporarily gained liberty from Nazi forces, Užice, formerly Titovo Užice, is a hidden gem of a city nestled between mountains in the district of Zlatibor. Renowned and hearty Serbian food, brutalist architecture, picturesque landscapes, monasteries and more await you in one of Europe's lesser visited areas. Your jaws are gonna drop. Dobro došli u Užice. Right, morning everyone. Yes, it's the morning. It's also Monday. Apparently this is what Monday morning looks like. I can't believe it. Also, I can't bloody believe it because the sun is out. What is this thing in the sky? What is that color? Blue, yes. Especially after the last couple of videos, you know what I'm talking about with the horrendous rain. It's also about two degrees, so I've got my winter coat on for the first time. I'm in Partizan Square, right in the center of Ujidze. We'll check that out in a minute. Just seen a black cat over there. I'll go and say hello in a minute. But first, what are my first impressions of Ujitse? Well, I might sound like a broken record, but unsurprisingly, I love it. It's just amazing. You've got these brutalist style buildings. You've got hills surrounding the area. It kind of feels very much like an enclosed city by the hills, if you know what I mean. And when I was driving here, well, I was on the bus, I was coming from Chachak, Chachak, Ja, ja, da, 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 da. there's a song. It felt like it was a drastic drastic change in terms of scenery and landscape. And I kind of felt, well, what's Ujitsi gonna be like? Is it just gonna be this middle of nowhere town? But then suddenly, out of the gloom and the mist, Ujitsi appears surrounded by hills with all these tall buildings, everything quite gray and concrete, which you know I love. And I have been blown away so far. We've got a lot to do in this video. So let's get moving. The other cat disappeared, but I found this one. Anyway, there are some buildings up the back there. One of them, I think, is the theatre. The other one's the library. And there's something interesting behind that building up there. I want to show you in a second. Let's go down here. So, Partizan Square, there used to be a big monument of Josip Tito, the former leader of Yugoslavia up until his death in 1980. And after World War II, when Yugoslavia came into being from 1946, Užice, along with seven other cities in Yugoslavia at the time were named Titovo Užice. Well, they had Titovo as a prefix to kind of celebrate the leader of the country. That name was eventually dropped. And in 1941 as well, this was a military state. Well, Užice was like a, a region and it was the first place in Europe, Nazi occupied Europe, to gain freedom from the Nazis. However, it took about three months, I believe, for the Nazis to once again take over. This is the thing I wanted to show you behind that building. It's a sundial. This is the sort of random, obscure thing I love. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yeah, obviously you've got the metal thing sticking out and the shadow of that indicates the time. Yep, it appears Ujitsi is cat land. I'm happy with that. Hello. Meow. You'll be glad to know there is no Starbucks in Ujitsi, but in Serbia you don't need Starbucks because you have amazing kafanas, like cafes or taverns in English. That's Grazka Kafana. I went there yesterday, had a lovely espresso and a cigarette. Obviously, I still can't get over the smoking inside thing. Is that George Best? Who knew Serbia would be such a varied country? Hotel Zlatibor, we're in the district of Zlatibor. You've got these concrete buildings and in the background, the sun reflecting on these hills 
mountains, cliffs, whatever you want to call them. And one thing I really love here is, well, the thing that I've noticed first is all the houses all the way up the hillside. It almost looks like gingerbread houses in a fairy tale. I think I said that on Instagram the other day. Right, it's time for some food. If you're from Serbia and know Užice, or you've seen travel videos like this one from Užice, you probably know what I'm about to eat and where I'm gonna go. I think it's up here, it might be back there, I don't know. Okay, it's actually down this way. I'm assuming that the place with the queue outside is the one I'm going to. Lesson about Serbia, if there's a queue outside, it's probably good. This is cool. I'm actually making <laughs> complete lepenia. This is amazing. <laughs> wow, look at the fire. Cool. <laughs> voilà. So that was cool. I was making completely penya. <laughs> and of course, as with anything in the morning in Serbia, you have to have yogurt with it. Lick the lid. <laughs> and you have a um, mouthful of this after every time you eat. So, completely penya. There are some other places you can get this. I think there's one called Blue Moon as well. But this is the most famous one, Shuljage. It's owned by a guy called the Bagan Lajits. And it's basically bread with everything. You've got classic Serbian bread, as always. Very hearty and calorific. And it comes from back in the day, teachers used to send their students to school, well, to the shops when they're at school, to pick up things like milk and kaimak and dripping. And basically it was too complicated to say all that, so they just started saying complete lepenja. There's also um, lepenja skymakom with kaimak. But I think it's like the same thing. I'm not really sure. Let me know down below. But it looks ginormous. I don't know how I'm going to eat this, but let's go. <laughs> now, never eat anything like this in Serbia with a knife and fork because you will get shot by me. <laughs> oh my actual Christ. Mm. You know what this tastes like? Any Brits will know this. A crumpet. Like classic English breakfast, you know? Mm. Good stuff. <laughs> so in a simplistic way, basically what's on this is egg, kaimak, which is like a Serbian dairy product, like a cream thing, and dripping. There isn't any meat on this, but this is like dripping from various meats, I believe, which is poured over the top after the egg and the kaimak have been put on it, and then it's put in this like oven, as you've seen, um, and baked. And I said it was like a crumpet, but it's also like a crumpet with scrambled egg on the top. Mm. And the sip of yogurt helps it go down a tree. I just burped, um, but I didn't get it on camera this time. Um, that place was divine. I'm glad I went there because although, yeah, there are other places, that place is kind of world renowned or Serbia renowned, whatever. It's very famous and I think it's a very special part of Užice, at least it feels like it is. And actually it wasn't like you would expect a lot of Serbian food to be and I've experienced in the past and it's quite heavy. It felt quite light actually, despite the fact I feel like I've just had an injection of 10,000 calories, but whatever. That um, dripping thing, I think it's called pritop, something like that. Oh, there's a car. <laughs> okay, I'm full of food. We've got street art. Uh, which means it's time to work off some of that fatness by doing something absolutely bloody brilliant.
Right, I've walked off some of that complex Lepinia. Can you shush, please? Um, anyway, we have gone for a walk now. And if you think you've seen scenery before, you haven't seen nothing yet, Hans. I love Ujitse. I do, it's correct. This is the Jetinia River. Yeah, it's the D with a little line in it, J. Serbian is so much better than English, it makes much more sense. In English, if it's a D, how do you know if it's D or J? You don't, but you do in Serbian. Lovely, and water is a theme that we're gonna investigate in a little bit, but first we're going up there to Stadiglad. There's the centre in the background, isn't it bloody beautiful? And Stadiglad, or Old Town, if you think you're going to be seeing nice little quaint cobbled streets and little coffee shops, it's not that kind of Old Town. As you've seen already, and at the beginning of this video as well, there's a fortress in the distance, dating back to possibly the late 14th century. It's monumental. It feels like I'm heading into like medieval times. I should have like a knight's outfit on. Oh, there's music playing from that lamppost. Now it may or may not be under reconstruction. I think it's been going on for quite a while, so I don't know if I can get up there. Clueless Exploration David is here. So there's a lift there that goes up to that railway track. Well, old railway track, I think it is. We'll go up there in a second, but there's also a stairway going up there, which I saw the other day. So let's cross this bridge and see which one of them pays off. Probably neither. If you want to know what this building is on the other side of the river, keep watching because it's something iconic and incredibly important to history in Serbia. Okay, the stairs just come up to the old railway track, as I said. We'll go in the tunnels in a second as well, underneath the fortress. How do I get up there? Can you even get up there? I'm gonna try. If not, we'll be going flying once again with the drone. I'm sorry, but can you just appreciate these views and where I am right now? It's unbelievable. Aha, uh -huh. it turns out this was Thomas the Tank Engine's railway. Look at that. There's another tunnel ahead of me. Come out the second tunnel. There's a second bridge, a little bit rusty. I think there's a zip line around here somewhere. Imagine living in these houses, like, kind of middle of nowhere, isolated from the city. This is Klitax Cliff. That was difficult to say. It's um, very sheer, it's a very sheer rock face. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Nice, peaceful river. A woman and a kid mucking about in the water. Lots of people fishing as well, and old ladies just sitting by the river on a bench. Okay, I went all the way up to the end there, but the path just ends. And, I mean, I could come up there, but my vertical rock face climbing ability isn't so good. Right, let's go up in this lift. Oh Lord. Going up. Doors closing. Right, we're going up. So this is the hydroelectric power plant and that is a bust of Nikola Tesla down there, everyone knows that name, right? He was actually in my first ever Serbia video two years ago at the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade. One of the first shots was the lightning bolt in that museum. Um, I think it's closed though. I've seen pictures of inside. Let's go down and have a look. 
Okay, this is basically what it says on Wikipedia. It was one of the first in Europe to be made. It was opened four years after the one at the Niagara Falls, and it uses the polyphase system of currents invented by Nikola Tesla. I read that it was still in use, but I'm not sure. Yeah, there's no signs of life. There's a padlock, so yeah, it's closed. I'll put those um, pictures that I found online over the top. Am I walking up an extremely steep hill into possible oblivion? Yes, I am. Look at that view. Lads, I think I could be onto something here. Oh, MG to the max. Right, how do I get up there? Okay, the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed in those drone shots there were people up there. Two people, and I saw a path. I think it might be this one, but there's a gate up there. I've got a funny feeling it's closed though. Ah, oh, it's not a gate. It does look like a gate from a distance. Oh yes, tenacity. That's my best trait. Never give up. I'm so happy. These tunnels were used as accommodation during times of siege. There was a siege here in the late 1300s, I believe. I can't believe I'm up here. Praise be. Look at those autumnal colors on the hillside. This is beautiful. Ah, look at this. Just met these two ladies down there. They also discovered this mysterious route. Maybe I'll draw a little map and put it on the screen or something. Let me move the camera over there so I can put the map to the right. Wowzers. Up these steps to this tower. Of course, this was built before Ottoman times, but then when the Ottoman Empire conquered the area, obviously it was in use. Unsafe passage, oh, whatever. If something is safe, it's boring. Stay dangerous. How is this unsafe? Okay, I've gone down this supposedly unsafe passage. It's about as unsafe as a sexy YouTube couple pretending to be shocked. Oh, what's in there? Is this a crack den? Okay, there's not much around this side. I think those two people there were the two that we saw on the drone shots. I think they're snogging or something. Oh, it's a hole. Um, and you can see the bridge down there. That's where we were in the lift. This is a life, eh? Monday afternoon, up on a fortress in the middle of Serbia. Got a lemonade I forgot I had and bags. Happy days. Okay, let's head back down. I feel like I've achieved my aim in this video. My ultimate aim was to get drone shots at the top of the fortress and I have succeeded through tenacity, hard work and injuring myself. So yeah, I haven't done everything I wanted to do in this video, but you know what, it's not the end of the world because I think the point around tenacity and achieving our goal is the message of this video. Um, I forgot to say, did I say at the beginning? I can't remember. I'm here for the next three weeks. This is my base in Western Serbia. So there's nothing stopping me going out again to do a little video. I was gonna to go to a museum with some tunnels and also 
I could go to that blue moon place and have complete La Pina from another place to compare. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do that video. But next up, we're going to be in Bayna Bashta, which is right by the border of Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm excited. It looks really cool. There are some really wicked things to do there. And that's kind of the starting point of a triple header of three videos in and around Tara National Park, Mokra Gorda, and as I said, Bayna Bashta before we head east. So uh, thanks for watching. I've had a good day. Don't forget to check out the end screens, like, subscribe and all that. And uh, see you next time. Catch you later.